Hey guys, welcome back to Cajun Hard Talk. I'm Jay and Ross. Today, oh, today we're talking about Train to Busan from 2016. Happy Father's Day, Happy guys. Father's Day, guys! It's our Father's Day video. Yeah. So grab a beer, grab a cup of coffee if it's early in the morning, but you can grab a beer then too. It's Father's Day. It's Father's Day. Go grab a beer and flip some burgers That's on the right. grill, guys. Let's talk horror. All right, guys. Train to Busan. Happy Father's Day Happy to all the dads Father's out there, everybody. man. Um, any ladies watching? Make sure you treat your man white right today. Yep. Um, so we picked this one as our Father's Day movie because if any movie yep. uh, embodies being a dad in horror, it's this one. This is absolutely one of those fucking movies. Uh, I actually hadn't heard of this movie um, until... Recently, you brought it to my attention, and I had to give it a watch. Very well done. Very well Amazing done. Now, movie, um, well I'm done. not normally a subtitle guy. Neither am I, but this one, I, I understood what you're saying. It kind of fades away whenever you, you get in. You, you get, get into so, it so much. dug into the movie that you kind of lose it. Yeah, you so you get into the character so much that you forget that it's even a... Um, you forget that it's being dubbed over in fucking yeah. cop. Uh, um, guys, I'm going to try to give you all the cast in this one. Yeah, we it's apologize. It's going to be rough. Yeah, we apologize in advance. We are ignorant Americans. We yeah. have a hard time pronouncing things. So budget, we're looking at an eight point three million dollar budget, which it's actually I forgot what their money's called in South Korea, but it was like ten billion of was, their money. So it was like ten billion. That was the, yeah, but so it comes out to it comes out to is USD. Yeah, it comes out to eight point three million US. Um, it worldwide gross it made ninety two point six million. Nice. So yeah. You, they got their money back on this one, guys. Absolutely, um, I definitely call this a success. Cast wise, I only I didn't do everybody and get everybody because it's just so freaking hard to pronounce. Yeah, uh, you got you you gong, <laughs> dude. Plays Sok Woo. Uh, Yumi Jung plays Song Kyung. Yeah, Dong Suk Ma plays Sang Hwa. Yeah, again, we apologize. Yeah. We know that he is Asian, and you can tell by looking yeah. at him. I'm Vietnamese, though. There's a whole he's, different... I'm about to say, he's definitely yeah, not from South culture. Korea. Um, no kill count in this one. I didn't, do, I didn't give us a kill count in this one. I'm okay with that. There's just so freaking many people. Everybody yeah, dies. There's a lot. Everybody there's dies. There's a lot of people. Just... Everybody. Everybody. So, plot-wise, um, it starts out, you meet this young guy... Uh, and you can tell he he's he works in like the stock market and stuff like that. Yeah, he's, a, he's a financial guy. Yeah, and he, which I immediately thought I was going to hate this guy. <laughs> I really did. I well to start off it. with, he's not a guy you would like. And I, he, I they he ignores kind of, his child. They played that on purpose up to yeah. that point to do it, and it was very very well done as far as the character arc yeah. driving him. Yeah. So he is kind of not paying attention to his kid. Um, it's her birthday. She just wants to see her mom in Busan. Yeah. And he gets her a Wii for the third time. Yeah, he does. You know what I mean? I, I laughed. Uh, there's not a lot of moments in this movie where I fucking laugh, but one of them I chuckled at it was not because of something that was done poorly in this movie, but it was because of something that the translation made me think of another movie. When he's on the phone with that guy and he's, he's speaking Korean, obviously, and the subtitles come over and says, I'm going to get really mad. Yeah. And I immediately thought of uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I had to pause. All like, you're not hurt my dog. I'm gonna get really mad. You better, you better not. I'm gonna get really mad. So um, he he folds and he decides he's gonna bring his daughter to Busan to see her mom. And they happen to leave the morning of the zombie apocalypse. And a zombie gets on the tra- uh, someone who's bitten gets on the train. Yeah, it and sneaks on. Hell actually, ensues. sneaks on as a fucking story. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! It did left a minute and a half sooner. Everything would have been golden. Yeah. Until they got to the next fucking stop, obviously. But they, they, there's a chance they kept going. But you wouldn't have the movie either. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I've always wanted to take a trip by train. I don't anymore. That's something I've never done. I, I've done subway. I've never done train. Yeah. I've, 
me as well. I've, I've, I've ridden the subway before. I've never taken a long trip by train. I haven't either. Actually, here it's usually a really enjoyable experience because you get to see like the the background of all yeah. the, the towns and the cities and stuff. Not something I'm all that interested in anymore. That kind of screwed uh, up for me. Yeah, a little bit. Because I never thought about it being trapped on a train. Yeah. And do like, during like a zombie apocalypse or something oh, like that. Oh, dude, it's it crazy. Fucking suck. Because where do you run? Here's the thing. Here's what pisses me off, okay? Old dude in here. Oh, fuck that dude. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Cause if, Great acting job because we hate you. Yeah, we fucking hate you. But had he it would have so much not been a been dick, yeah. a lot of these people would have lived. Yeah. Including you know I mean? himself. Including himself. Including himself. He was a total fucking dick. Uh, I'm going to go out and say the, uh, uh, the zombie deer got me. Really? He got me. I was like, oh, fuck you. He had a deer, whatever. And the deer got like, oh, 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 shit. We're starting already? Cool. Let's right. do this. Yeah, it kind of just dove right into yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, let's just fucking let's jump right into this so fucking shit. Did the, did the deer bite someone? Or did somebody bite the deer? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm about, about to say, what, uh, how did the deer get infected? I'm right? confused about that. I'm also, and maybe, for the love of God, I've, I've already established the fact that I am ignorant. Why was Burger King written in English on the drinks? Because it's a brand. It's Burger King. I know, but doesn't that translate? No. Overseas, it's still Burger King. I know it's Burger King, but wouldn't it translate into, like, you could write Burger King in a different book? No, because even any if you, brand- like, when I went to Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City, Burger King is still Burger King. McDonald's oh. is still McDonald's. I never fucking knew that. Oh, I know yeah. that the brand itself does not change as far as the logo and the things like that, yeah. but... I figured that I think with, Japan it does with but well and then see I remember seeing a couple of different places where things are written yeah like I think in Japan it does but I remember I Vietnam would, seeing it I, re- I figured they would translate it that, now, that was something that caught me burger may want to be one of those American words that kind of it's burger everywhere you go I'm not positive though Ah, uh, could be I don't know that was that was a question I had when I was watching it because yeah. I noticed I noticed that it was it said Burger King and I was uh, I, some of the things I understand that there was going to be that translation there, I thought that would have been one of them that would have right. been translated. So they found out they have this homeless guy stowaway. Yes. Who let the kid just chill out right there while you're investigating this strange fucking homeless dude? Uh, pe- people do weird things. I mean, it's horror movie logic. Yeah. It's just, oh, I kept thinking that. Why are you letting this little girl stand right here? And then, dude, when he wakes up, there's nothing scarier than waking up and your kid's gone. Yeah. I'd have freaked the fuck out. fucking ridiculous. I'd have freaked the hell out. There's no way. That is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh. And, I mean, he he kind of maintained his composure. And he yeah. was calm about it, but you could tell that he, he acted it well to where he, yep. was, he was freaking Dude. out about it. And then the zombies. The zombies are fucking scary. The zombies me. that they did in this movie were fucking amazing. They remind, I loved the horde mentality. Yeah. It was, it was so much... I can't say realistic because it's fucking zombies. Yeah. But that's how you would expect a a ravenous wild animal to react. Asians don't fuck around with horror. When it comes to horror, Asians don't fuck around. Uh, No, we we fuck it up when we we, we, we we try to remake our shit over here. I wouldn't want America to try to remake this movie. They're going to fuck it up bad. They would make it more about the fucking zombie than what it is about the story. And this fucking story in this movie is amazing. It's about what the the lens this man will go to to save his child. Absolutely. And again, you you reference it in the beginning where he's kind of cold shouldered and he's always working. And she even cuts him fucking deep. That's why mommy left at one point. I was like, oh, Oh. fuck. Uh, She mentions uh, the we that that he had gotten. See, that one I didn't question. Yeah. I didn't question at all. Uh, She... Of course, I already had gotten uh, another one. He looks at the thing. He had two wee sitting on the fucking counter. Um, and she mentions that it was from uh, Children's Day. Yeah. Children's Day in South Korea is apparently it's a day that highlights the dignity of children and their need for love, care, and respect. Yes. Which is a fucked up thing that the dad didn't realize she had gotten the fucking wee for that. Right. Like, how do you know? Like, I, that was kind of actually a little slap in the face. Like, what the fuck? It's a pretty cool holiday, though. And that really is. I wonder that, why that's you have anything that needs like to be that. Worldwide. I, I think it is. I don't think it's just a purely South Korean thing. Because I tried to look into it while I was it watching the movie. Something that's like more along the lines of it's yeah, definitely not on. North Which America. we have less notes for this movie compared to most because well, because the, writing, of the subtitles. The writing the notes was difficult because I had to I had to pause and keep looking yeah. back at the screen because I can't listen to it in the background while I'm writing notes. I had to and be know what's to, going on. I had to exactly. be able to read the screen. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, so zombies take over a couple of the cars. Yeah. And they realize they're going nuts because they can see him. Dude, that was some quick ass thinking that chick using that paper. I, that, that's one of the fucking things I put on here. Was that some quick, quick ass fucking thing? Yeah, dude, that was that was that was real. Quick I love thinking. I love the uh, the the people who are in a crisis and scream to everybody to run. Right. 
<laughs> and so nobody much, moves. So much for don't panic and shit. Everybody's like, what? The yeah, they're just wrong running. With- they're running through screaming, and yeah. no one fucking moves. What the fuck's, fuck is wrong with that guy? I haven't heard that one random zombie after one of the whores attacks and they get out of this fucking place. They have one zombie that's before. Yeah. And he kind of gallops off by his fucking self and takes <laughs> off running. I put it on there. He's like the last fucking antelope in the Lion King after Mufasa <laughs> died. Just random lone zombie trotting along. Like, fuck you guys. Um, The the way they, they transform in this movie. Jesus Christ, that's quick. Quick. Like, you get bitten and, and boom. It almost, at, at one point, it seemed like it was a, a and not calling it, not realistic. Uh, I'm actually giving a compliment as far as it seemed like a robotic transfer, like when a transformer transforms. Yeah, where they like their bodies contort and turn, and you see them moving all kinds of weird ways. It reminded me of like a transformer transformation where they were transforming from a, a robot no, it to a car me or something. Fucking chick from the Grudge. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, that's but what that was of. also another really smooth transition. To fucking yeah. change. I love the fucking the change that they do. Um, they I don't get, get how you do didn't hear the fucking stowaway anyway. I, I really don't. Right? I, like it seems like. It's then she's making a yeah yeah. Um, you find out his mom dies. Yeah, his his mom talks to him she on the actually, phone while she's transform, really transforming. Creepy. Turned in on the phone while she's talking to him. Turned into a fucking zombie. Yeah, mom, which, why are you breathing like that? And it's got that's like really got to fucking hit deep. You listening to someone you love, like it's fucked up enough seeing it, but you're not well, even. Yeah, you're already bringing your kid to yeah. your ex wife's place, so you know yeah. she's probably not. She may not come back. Yeah. She wants to be with mom. She'd rather be with mom than you. Yeah. And the only person you got left in the world besides yourself is your freaking mom. And, and you listening to her. And change. she just died. And, you know, and death in Korean. It's just one of those things. It's another one that it hits you in the feels. It does. It really does. This did. movie does it several freaking uh, times. This movie has a very weird way of, of switching those fucking channels from the, from like, it's like a drama, but it is a fucking horror movie to where it, it makes you put yourself in those actors, the character's shoes. It really does a good job of that. And I'll give it to them for going the Romero route and not letting all your most popular characters survive. Yes. Very well done. That, the big guy, that, was a, that dude was a badass. That dude was a badass. He was a fucking beast. You know what I mean? And, then and he went out, out way, swinging. Yeah, good he did. fucking job. Yeah, uh, holler at his wife, t- tells her the name he wants to name his yeah. son, and then just fucking goes out like, like a boss. He's like, I know I'm fucking dying. It's done with. Let me fucking save y'all. Yep. And just fucking. The old lady. Yeah. The old lady realizing that we're, I'm, we're the reason because we were stupid. Yeah. That's the reason my sister got killed. And she so fuck, fuck all these people. Yep. Which you know what? I don't feel sorry for a single one of them fucks. I don't. They were about to let everybody fucking die, dude. Yeah. They they were yeah. like, you saw how quickly those people changed. You saw the fucking so, mob mentality that took over that fucking car. We're like, no, fuck you. You're getting back there. Yeah. Just because that one piece of shit said something. One piece of shit said something, and that mob mentality kicked in. It makes you wonder who the hell is he that he's got. He thinks he has this much fucking power and control. Seen, well, he's he's dressed in you know professional clothing. Yeah. He's dressed in a suit and everything. So he probably is like you'd imagine him being like a CEO of an important company, and probably used to bossing people around and getting his way and kind of talking down to people. Yeah, like, like he, does. he gets on a fucking radio to the conductor, and he's telling the conductor what the I, fuck to do. I love the uh, the banter back and forth between the dad and and the, the big guy and big guy. Yeah. I really love which the we know that's not their names. It's just it's they're Drew, really I'm, hard to pronounce. It. We don't want to insult them. No, we, we really. I don't want to shit on this movie at all. So I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to misrepresent the name or something and fuck yeah, the, it up. the banter back and forth because but you know what i think he gave him too much shit about closing that door because he did open it back up and let him through he did you know what i mean he did, so but i'm sorry because he closed it initially but look at it from his perspective you, you're about to die you yeah but he also had side. his fucking kid next to him too because uh, i'm gonna tell you right now even as close as you and i are oh, if it comes it, down to you and my kids i get it i'm picking my kids i get it that's that's gotta be a thing you gotta understand yeah i get it you know he's also not a father yet though He's, he's got a wife who's pregnant. He's about to be, but he probably doesn't. And later on, I think he comes to that realization whenever they're talking in the train cart. Yeah. I think he comes to that realization because he knows he's going to be a father, but he, he hasn't had that attachment yet. It's just, I mean, anybody, it's Father's Day, guys. Yeah, y'all like, know, y'all 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 know, know the like. feeling. Like we, It's a totally different feeling. Like You prepare yourself the entire time your wife's pregnant, and then the day that your child is born, it's something completely fucking different. It's, it's, something it's that, like a switch flip. It's something that switches, and it's, it's yep. totally fucking different. But the banter between them back and forth was amazing. Um, the the way that the wife and them kind of adopted the kid when they knew she was in fucking danger and they took, like, we're going to take and care of her. And automatically decided to help her. Like, like, that's human nature at its best. Yeah. That, that is a 
the finest representation of human nature in, in, in times of crisis where you just you're somebody in need. I got you. So they when they get to the train station, where they think they're gonna be safe because the army's there. And they yeah. come down that fucking stairwell. Oh, dude. And the fucking army's all fucking infected. Yeah, it was great. Holy shit. Fuck that, man. Holy shit, dude. That yeah. was fucking wild. That was fucking wild. And then all the uh, the, the men, and you talking about a pack of people who are kind of starting to get that little bond in because yeah. they're, they're going through this crisis together. And you're starting I'll, to root for some of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you and see the men, who's the assholes and you see who's the good people. Why couldn't the an asshole be front, that, dude, front and center? Right? Let that motherfucker be front and center. But all the men hold the fucking the doors closed so that the girls and the daughters and everybody yeah, can kind of escape and get women back to and the children train. first. You know yeah, I mean? it's kind of like that's uh, that's. But this you movie. notice who stayed? Oh yeah, you know I mean the good guys stayed. Yeah, the pieces of shit went back to they, the train. They went back to the fucking train, which that's like. Look, I, it's 2020. Chivalry is not dead. Yeah. Chivalry is still very much alive and living on through generations. My son knows the whole fucking doors open. You, women and children are first, and that's not an anti-feminist thing. I know y'all are equal, but it's uh, it's. Yeah, no, it's a respect thing. It's, it's like it's yeah, it's not so much I, that you can't do it. We we respect you enough to where we'll you do shouldn't it for you. have to. That's the same with the uh, with the elder generations. I mean, we were raised in the South. Yeah, you respect your elders. Yes, I sir. Mean, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. If you didn't, you was getting a fucking smack in the back of the head. That's it. So you can tell like the way the characters developed. Who kind of has that that hero mentality, and then that piece of shit guy who has that fucking every man for himself mentality, and even the homeless guy. Even, even the homeless even guy the homeless sacrificed guy himself. Would sacrifice himself for other people. I mean, I, I think that's beautiful. I think it, that was it's, really it's a awesome. Really, yeah, it shows you the best in human nature that even at from the, at the bottom of your fucking shit. Exactly. Still, even on, this homeless man who knows none of these people, no, so would sacrifice himself while this rich man would, was fucking sacrificing people. Yeah, he he sacrificed that chick. He literally sacrificed the that conductor. chick and the conductor. Yeah. Just so he could fucking get away. In which he didn't. Thank and God. He, I'm glad. If, if he would have lived, I would have been pissed. I right? really would have been mad. That dude deserved nah. to die in this fucking movie. Here's the thing, though. He survived just long enough to fuck it all up. Yeah, he did. To finish Hey, you know what? Up. I'm sorry, but from dad, you're on the fucking train at the end of it. He's changing. I'd have threw him off before he was finished. He, oh, I'd have went with him. I would have went with him as well. If I'm, if I'm especially once, you know, once he, he bit, once he was bit, I thought that's what he was gonna do. He was gonna grab your guy and he was gonna just walk off the fucking train. Yeah. But I'm glad they didn't because you got that fucking heartfelt moment at the end. Oh, we'll get to that later. We got that heartfelt oh, we'll, moment. We'll get to that later. But dude, I'm um, sorry, Dad. Your boy's been bit. If you're in a zombie apocalypse, I'm sorry. But friend to friend, if we're ever in a zombie apocalypse and I get bitten and you don't shoot me, you're a pussy. You bright. I'm no, sorry. No, trust me, you're dead. You're a bitch. Oh, like I'm that. about to fuck you up. It's not me anymore. Kill me. Yeah. Um. Oh, there was something else I wanted to talk about um, between that and that. The uh, the conductor. I really like the conductor. Yes. He was a really, like, an honest guy. He was he was yep. trying to save as many people as he could. Yep. You know what I mean? And especially when he went and found the other train and shit like that. He, oh, yeah. He, he left safety to go help the old man. Yes. To go you know pick I mean? him up. And, and got fucking mortared, martyred by, by him, pretty much. He did. And, I mean, that just this, the the representation of the, the wholesomeness in people is something that we've... We've missed in this generation and this generation of horror, especially. So yeah. for to see that played out like that in this fucking movie, but I generally fucking love it. It also shows you his character arc too, because even what he tells his daughter at the beginning. Yeah. Whereas when you're in a situation like that, you look out for you. You look out for you, which is that, and that's whenever he was building that arc. I'm like, bro, this he's gonna be that fucking dude. Yeah, and then and he snaps into that realization, like, no, we're in this together. Yeah, like, exactly. It, be, it's not about just one person. It's about saving. It's it's the many it's, over the yeah, few. Yeah, the many over the few. I mean, it's the many over you. Yeah, you know what I mean. If you if you want if you're gonna be that guy, you gotta be that guy. Yep. You know what I mean. I love big dude came out like a fucking hero. I loved his fucking character. He was I, awesome. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm glad his wife made it in the end. Yeah, I am as well. I so really it, am. It I, if they would if they would have killed her, I think I would have been upset. Yeah, and um, I think it's partly because of the the pregnancy in the movie. Yeah, partially. I, I, yeah. I think that that would have fucking hit me hard. Yeah. Like, fuck, that's a so fucking let's first get to, kid. let's get to that scene. Oh, he's getting to the scene that made you cry, dude. Made you cry? No, like this. I teared up. I'm not. Yeah, bro, that's I, fucking rough. I, I like teared my, up. my, it's Father's Day, guys. I mean, my biggest fear in life is not being able to be there for my kids at some yeah, point. I get that, dude. You know what I mean? And we're we're both fathers, so that that scene yeah. kind of hit us. Fucking, it kind of both so hit us. When she grabs like, his oh, hand, and she's begging him, "Don't go," and you know there's. I mean, it's, it's like, done. You, he's you he's already dead. You have to. You know what I mean? And as he's walking to the back. And he's he's having the flashbacks of, of the her of being holding born her and holding her and, and playing yeah. with her little feet and playing with her little, little fingers and he smiles and then falls off the back of the yeah. train. 
Oh, bro, yeah. it hit me in the fucking yeah. feels, bro. It got me. Like, I love this fucking movie. I would I, never watch this movie again. I, I'm not going to lie. That it, fucking scene wrecked me. It made me tear up. Oh, bro, I, I was fucking just free just free crying. It, uh, was, it was rough. It takes a lot for me to tear up at a movie, and that one made it got a very me. good job because y'all fucking played that amazingly. Let me just say if they'd have shot them in the fucking end, I'd have been pissed. Dude, when they were walking through that tunnel and the order came across to kill them, yeah. uh, you better fucking don't. You better don't. I will, I will fucking Elvis this TV. You better not. Dude, I'll, I really thought it was going to happen. I and thought so, too. Singing, yeah. Which, which, by the way, has why? Has a beautiful voice, by the way. Has a beautiful voice. Why is she fucking singing? Because it was the song that she sang for the recital. She was saving it for her dad, remember? I Yeah, I completely remember that. I think it's a beautiful story. It's so very she was touching. saving it for her dad, and now her dad sacrificed, so now she's singing for him. As yes, and they're in a dark safety. tunnel running away from zombies. Yeah, and it and made her think making, of her dad. And you're making fucking noise. It made her think of her father. All right. You're making fucking noise. It was, it, it was, it was. Um, if it, she, her singing would have attracted a horde of zombies and killed them both, you'd have been pissed. Yeah, I would have. Uh, it, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, but it made her feel better about herself. Awesome. Oh, we didn't touch on the. Uh, the the sight aspect as well. Oh as yeah, as, any darkness they can't see. Yeah, which I like the whole because the, the milky eye thing. The milky so. eye bullshit. Uh, when the your homeless guy threw a fucking blanket, yeah, over the one that was attacking the dad. Yeah, they got to the first station, and the uh, the it, aspect I, of it kind of nerfs them a little bit. I liked it. I, I liked it though. It there was them being able to exploit a, a vulnerable aspect of yep. the zombies and, and I, be, I using the phone. It. The phone was a great to, fucking to, touch. To, the tunnel shit where they were going through the periods of fucking darkness, which I don't understand why there weren't lights in the train. Yeah, you would think. I don't. I don't. I don't quite understand that. Movie. Movie logic. Movie but, logic. Hey, you know what? I didn't think about that until just yeah, now. I watched I'll, the whole I'll, fucking I'll give movie. It to yeah, I'll, I'll give that one to him. And normally the tunnels are lighted too. Yeah, like usually, well, I mean, I don't know about South Korea. Yeah, true. I mean, in America, usually the tunnels have, have lights on inside the tunnel. True. But might not be like that everywhere. But you know what? I'll, I will allow them. If that's the most I could say to fucking bitch about this right. movie, I, I'm fucking good. And aside from the subtitles, I, I'm, like I said before, I'm not a subtitle guy, but I don't I, want this remade. No, I think if they remake it, they're going to fuck they're gonna it up. They're going to fuck it up. So they're going to fuck it up. And I don't. They're going to ignore the fucking character arc. They're going to ignore the uh-huh. story. It's and just going to be a zombie zombies. flick. If yeah. they redo the story, it's going to be nothing but a fucking zombie flick. Yep. That's all it's going to be. And uh, I'm not I'm not going to fucking tear up if you don't have the fullness of the character at the very fucking exactly. end. Exactly. You you have to be invested in the character. Now, I figured that something was going to happen because you watched it before me and you told me it broke you down. Yeah. So I, I was going into this like, or something's going to fucking happen. Yeah, I kind of fucked up. I yeah, should have said nothing. Yeah, you did. You fucked up. But I, I still teared up. Yeah. It was still very well done. And uh, your girl... That uh, plays the daughter. Oh yeah, she won some she, awards. This, by the way, guys, we didn't touch on the fucking awards, but this movie was uh, showing thirty two wins and thirty nine nominations. This movie won fucking awards for a uh, horror film, best pictures. Uh, let's see, where, what was the winner? Best new director, best supporting actor, best international film. I'm not gonna run down the whole list, but yeah, it's, it's a it, fucking lot. A lot. Go on the IMDb. Page well earned, too. By the way, very well earned. You know what? There's not a fucking there is not an award in here that I can disagree with. No. Nope. There's not an award in here. I, I love the uh, the Chunsa Film Arts Award where it got most popular film. I, I'm assuming that's an, uh, it's got to be an overseas. Yeah, it must be. Award. But I'm glad that it got enough. Because if it wouldn't have gotten these awards and it wouldn't got the accreditation that it did, it never would have made yeah. its way to where it's how at. Did I never would have been able to fucking see, see it. How did Fangoria? Fangoria? Uh, best foreign language film. Best foreign and language it was film. Nominated and for best actor. Best actor. Uh, Fantasia won best, best film and best Asian best feature. Best film and best Asian feature. Damn. Well, I'm telling you, this, this movie is a... I, this is a movie that I would recommend to anybody. Look, even if you're not a subtitle person, give it a try. The story arc is amazing. The filmography is amazing. The oh, special I, I've, already effects, recommended this, I've already recommended this movie multiple times since just since I watched it. The special effects are on point and not over the top. Yeah. Although the, the reigning zombies I loved. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was fucking cool. Because you, you saw them fly, and they're on the fucking helicopter. They're hanging off of the uh, the landing gear. Yeah, shit. which... I was like, what the fuck? Made me wonder what happened there. Yeah, what the fuck happened? That was like a fucking so, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger getaway? Get to the chopper. Well, that or it made me wonder if they were seeding them. Ooh. I well, don't was know. the government seeding zombies, or was a foreign government seeding zombies? Was North Korea trying to fucking... 
See, and I looked at in. it from a different perspective. I thought it was a getaway where the, the zombies just kind of hung on, like they did on the fucking yeah. uh, train. Where yeah. The zombies kind of clamped on and just kind of got caught there. But that's a weird, that's a weird thought. Because here's the thing. If you're in a military helicopter like that, you have guns. Shoot them. Yeah, that is true. And knock them off before you go far. Why would you spread them out? Uh, yeah, that is. That, that was is my true. thing. Oh, were, were they seeding fucking zombies into these cities? Uh, that's a good theory. So I, I mean, that's a good theory. I'd yeah. like to see that'd be a, that'd be an interesting fucking. Right. Expose. So looking looking into this one, which is a movie I've been wanting to watch, um, I realized that they actually have a um, sequel coming out. Oh, I'm looking forward it's to that. It's Train to Busan Pen- Peninsula. Peninsula? Peninsula. I, I, I haven't looked up the plot or anything like that. Well, um, I kind of actually hope that it doesn't revolve around the daughter and the girl. Yeah, I hope, I hope it shows like some, something else. Um, yeah, I'd like to see it from uh, maybe even like a different perspective or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, released released this year, some time this that's year. That's going to be released in 2020. Yeah. Uh, We'll watch the teaser trailer after we finish with, yeah, with this. Yeah, check that out. And I kind of want to check it out. But like I said, I, I, they ended it perfectly. They did. It, they really it did. It was an amazing ending. It was perfectly fucking I don't know where done. you go from here, though, because you'll never to- you'll never have another fucking movie with this kind of fucking heart to it. No, not not a sequel to this. I think I, as a director, producer, and a writer, I think your point of this is to jump to a different project. Yeah. Let, like, don't go too far with something that's already fucking perfect. I, I'm really a huge fan so, of this movie and I don't want to see it fucked up. Rating wise, Rotten Tomatoes gives this a 94%. <laughs> wow. Rotten Tomatoes even loves this movie. The audience score was 88%. I can't believe that the audience score was lower. I know. I kind of thought it'd be a little higher. Where be, are you thinking? To be quite honest with you, I, I'm actually going to go uh, I think I'm actually going to go at, with a 46. 46 for me as well. I think I think I mean it's it. fucking up there, dude. It's, it's this, this is one of the best movies I watched. There's not a lot of complaining I can do about it. No, there, you can't you can't really pick this one apart too much. Um, um, there's dude, there's like a there's a sincere lack of any plot holes. There's, and as I've said multiple times, I, there's not many horror movies that hit me in the feels like this one did. Yeah, this one hit me as well. You know what I mean? It especially, did. especially like it takes a lot for a movie at all to make me tear up, and for it to come from a fucking zombie flick really was like wow. A All foreign right. zombie flick a where foreign I had to zombie fucking read flip. subtitles the whole time. Yeah. That tells you something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really, it, really it was, well. It was done. just a really well made movie. I can't I, can't recommend it enough. Yeah, no shit. If y'all haven't watched it and after watching this, dude, check it out and see what you think. It's amazing. Yep. All it, right, guys. Make your wife watch it on Father's Day. Yeah. So um find us on SoundCloud. Follow us there. Yeah. Um please subscribe below. Hit yeah. the notification bell, all the bells and whistles. All the cool shit. Uh, find us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and guys, happy Father's happy Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. All right, guys, we are out of here.